welcome everyone to another day at Nanny's Kitchen. Um, today I'm making something, actually a recipe I saw on Facebook, so I'm going to give it a shot. Right now I have, you can just say, I have a pound of ground chuck in the frying pan, cook it up. And uh, what we're making today is... We are making schoolhouse pizza. Do you remember the pizza we used to get in school? You know, the squares and the sheet pans. So, it's a recipe for that. So, I'm going to try to keep my burger cooking and uh, do the crust here for you. Okay, so to begin with, we are going to be adding in two and two-thirds cup of flour. One, two, yes. that's about two-thirds there. Stir this burger. I think I'll turn it down too so we don't end up with burnt hamburger a really crispy hamburger. Okay. Into that, we put some salt and pepper in it. Okay, so we have two and two thirds cup of flour. Now into that. Never believe it. Powdered dry milk. It's going to take three quarters of a cup of dried milk. There we go. And two tablespoons of sugar. I'm just going to guess at it. One, two. Okay, and one teaspoon of salt. That looked about right. As you know, a lot of times I don't measure, I guess. So we have the salt. Now we have to add in one package of yeast. spoon here. Kind of stir it a little bit. Now we want one and two thirds cup of warm water. I think I better grab my this one for that. Get me some warm water going. While the water's getting a little warm, I'll go ahead and stir the burger some more. And to me it looks done. So I'll go ahead and shut it off. So, get one and two thirds cup of warm water. There we go. Pour that in there. And two tablespoons of oil. Okay. And mix that. Up. Now it's going to be um, thinner than what you normally would have for pizza crust, but that's how they do it because we're going to be pouring it into the uh, sheet pan. I got it mixed up there pretty good. I'm going to preheat my oven to about 450. It says 475, but my oven tends to get hotter than uh, an electric one because I have a gas oven. And the hubby could put some oil on that any old day. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to set that, you 
I can do it right here. I don't know. So we're going to top that with some parchment paper. It's a little damp. I'm going to dry that. to get it where you can see it. Uh, rearrange a little bit here. Like that maybe. Push those back. Okay. So I got my parchment paper in here. Now I'm going to spray it with a little bit of this. Actually, I'm going to spray the pan. That will keep keep the um, parchment paper down. Nice little hack. Let me see if I can make a little bit more room here. But I saw the recipe and I'm like, I've got to make that. Because I remember having um, pizza at school. And it's actually pretty good. Okay, there we go. See how well my parchment paper paper is sticking to the pan? Okay. Now we're going to take our crust here and pour it into a pan, spread it out, I'm doing this backwards. Okay, and scrape the bowl here. It's sort of like a real pretty uh, simple thing to put together. Okay, we're going to spread this here. Get it all even. Spread it out as even as you can get it. And I think that's about as even as I will get it. And now it's going to go in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes. And then we will put our meat and our topping on it. So I'll come back in 8 to 10 minutes and we will finish the schoolhouse pizza. So stay tuned. Hey guys, I just pulled it out of the oven. It's been about 10 minutes. So we are, uh, you know the recipe it called for homemade pizza sauce that you make the day before. That's how they did it in school. but. I went ahead and bought some ragu. I ain't got time for all that. So we will grab a something here. A something, something. Spoon. And we're going to put that pizza sauce on the crust here. And we're going to try to replica your school lunch. Put in your comments how many years it's been since you was in grade school and had school lunch pizza. <laughs> okay. Just put it on there. Like that. Now I've got the hamburger down chuck that we went ahead and fried up in the beginning. I just want to crumble it on there.
And I have one pound that I fry it up. If you were going to do two pieces, uh, I'd say probably fry up two pounds. Now, if you want, which I probably could have done with this, but I didn't, you can add um, onion to it and give it a little bit more flavor, or onion powder maybe. I'm just going to spread it out here. Then I have some grated cheese here. And I will try to get the bag open. Do you need scissors behind you? Some grated cheese on here. And then I'm going to be adding some mozzarella too. Which you don't have to, you can add just uh, cheddar or just mozzarella. To me a pizza needs to have mozzarella. Okay, now we're going to put this back in the oven for 10 more minutes. And by then it should be done. Stay tuned for the finished product. Okay, I just pulled it out of the oven. And there you have it. Full house pizza. And it was, I gotta say, pretty simple to make. And uh, I'm sure if you wanted to, you could add whatever you wanted on there um, and make it your own. Um, but that's how they made school house pizza and school people. So, um... If you like the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, and uh, I'm going to cut into some of the schoolhouse pizza, and we're going to get to eating tonight. So, hope everyone has a good night. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure to share the video if you want, and subscribe. Hope you all have a good one. Till next time, bye. Bye.